in the far reaches of Northeast India lies a place so hidden that few have heard about it. A realm of waterways and floating meadows. Indeed, a unique environment essential to both the people who live around it and the wild animals that share it. This is the story of the only floating national park on our planet and the only home to an endangered deer subspecies that has made a remarkable comeback from the brink of extinction. The Return of Sangai The state of Manipur is a land of steep mountains surrounding vast flat plains where people have lived for thousands of years. Not far from the capital city of Imphal is Manipur's best kept secret. Almost as big as the country of Maldives, Loktak Lake is the largest freshwater lake in Northeast India. Alongside the lake stand patches of hillocks and surrounding them are the fishing villages of Manipur. Bhuti lives in one of these villages. He uses a traditional fishing net to catch just enough to feed his family of four. Fish forms a major part of Manipuri diet and the lake is a major source of fish in the surrounding villages. During the fishing season, many of the fishermen live in these houses made on these floating meadows that are locally known as fumdi. Fumdi is a floating biomass consisting of soil and organic matter at various stages of decomposition. To the southern side of the lake, Fumdi has consolidated over centuries to form the largest of the Fumdi, making it one of the largest floating meadows on our planet. This habitat is so close to the people of Manipur that they have a special name for it, Khaibal Lamja, the vast land where tigers gather. According to popular belief, wild animals from the neighboring hills took shelter in these grass meadows during forest fires. It's spring and new shoots sprout out after the long winter months. There is someone who was waiting for this opportunity. Someone who is endemic to this habitat and found nowhere else on earth. The Sangai. This endangered deer subspecies the state animal of Manipur is believed to be the binding soul between humans and nature. They are well adapted to walk on this soft floating landmass. Shy and seldom seen outside, this is a rare opportunity for them to enjoy the fresh soft sprouts rich in nutrients. They were declared extinct in the year 1951 and later rediscovered in this natural habitat. In order to protect this fragile ecosystem, together with its inhabitants, Kaibul Lamjao was declared a wildlife sanctuary in the year 1955 and later upgraded to a national park after 22 years, making this the only floating national park in the world.
thickly covered with 10 feet tall grass, the national park is a perfect refuge for many species. The single isolated population of Sangai is always vulnerable. It is a challenge to maintain the population and the gene pool. Hence, the feasibility of creating another population outside the national park is being studied and will be carried out with the support of the local people. However, one of the biggest threats was discovered in early 2000 a threat to the existence of Sangai and its natural habitat. Fumdi have been thinning and disintegrating. In their natural cycle, Fumdi settles down on the lake bed to replenish resources during the dry months. As the monsoon sets in, Fumdi is almost completely submerged in the rising water and then emerges to the surface again. Due to the construction of Ithai Barrage downstream and constant flooding of Loktak Lake round the year, this natural cycle was disturbed. Fumdi started losing thickness and eventually began to disintegrate. Fumdi require a thickness of at least 75 centimeters to support the weight of Sangai. Out of the 40 square kilometer area of the national park, the habitat of Sangai was reduced to 8 square kilometers. The forest department devised an ingenious plan to stop the disintegration of Fumdi. By pinning down the disintegrating Fumdi with long wooden shafts, Fumdi were held in place and this helped in their replenishment, allowing them to rejoin the main piece. And slowly, over a period of time, Fumdi were beginning to regenerate. Together with researchers, the forest department educated the local villagers and involved them in conservation activities. By establishing anti poaching camps at strategic locations, and then connecting them with roads and waterways, the department was able to monitor the park effectively, thus minimizing the poaching of Sangai and other species inside the national park. From the 14 Sangai counted in 1975, the numbers have increased to 260 during the last census in 2016. Many of them were spotted even in the recently added Fumdi habitat. Sangai has made a remarkable comeback from the brink of extinction. With the support of the villagers and the dedicated frontline staff, the forest department overcomes everyday challenges in conservation, making Kaibul Lamjao a perfect home for Sangai. Kaibul Lamjao National Park is one of the main ecotourism destinations of Manipur. As the number of visitors increased, it improved the economy of the village, creating several job opportunities. For people like Bhuti, it's another reason for happiness. The educated youth will be able to find a deserving job in the village itself. It's a relationship where both the Sangai and the people are dependent on each other for their coexistence. Let's hope that the numbers of Sangai will be secure and Kaibul Lamjao National Park becomes a world-class model for conservation. <laughs>